So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another React tutorial in which we'll be starting off with routing in React because you know we can just go ahead and look at the theoretical stuff but unless we are building something we won't get the essence of React why we are using it after all. So routing in React is dead simple especially if you have um, coming from if you're coming from create React app which we are right now. And anyway, it's it's just like that in the in the scratch implementation as well. So what you have to do is once you have a project up and ready, what we have to do is just go ahead and in the project npm install react router DOM and just save it. Right. So it will install the latest react router in your project. And uh, from there we can get started. So we see that right now in our source folder, we have this index.js file, which is basically bootstrapping our application from here. So we won't really need to touch this part as of now. For the app.js part, we would consider this as the entry point of our application. So how do we do that? How do we go about that? Is we basically start importing stuff and let it just install first. And once it's installed, what we can do is just go ahead and start importing stuff here. So I'm going to start importing, first of all, the browser router, right? And let's just write React Router DOM here so that we can get some help. We also want the switch and we want the route and the link, right? So the thing is, we have this browser router with us from the React Router DOM package. What, what this makes use of, essentially how the React routing works, is everything is every url whatever you enter in your browser like it does not matter everything um serves this index.html file right once it serves the index.html file so for example if you go to this particular url you are eventually going to get the same index.html file now this html file loads the javascript whatever the JavaScript is, it's not present right now, but it loads the JavaScript, which would load this, right? Once it loads this, then the browser router kicks in, takes in place, and then reads the URL and decides which component, which page, which document it has to serve. So what we're gonna do next is instead of like getting rid of all of this, I'm just gonna write browser router here. And a common convention is to just rename this as router. So I'm gonna just, import this as router right so once we have router in our place what we want is we want to have a switch now why a switch we're going to come to that soon but inside a switch we can finally start declaring what we want at a particular route so if i am at home page what i want is my component should be home Right, and I can just go ahead and create a function home real quick here, right? So home is a functional component, right? And functions are components in React, so just remember that. So function home, and I can just return home. Right, so once I save this, what we're gonna see is, now if I go here, I get home. What about if I am path, let's say about, component about and i'm just gonna go ahead and copy paste this saying about here and here hit save and go to about we're gonna see we still get home now why is that the reason well the reason for this is that react what it do is when you're using switch it would quit when it finds the first match right and for some reason i don't know why but the people who have developed uh, the react router thing have decided that unless you include a, a prop name exact you can just include it like this or set it exact equal to true unless you do that it would basically match all the children all the child routes as well so if you have slash about let me just get rid of this for, for a while, right? So if we have slash about, we see that this does not work on the root page, right? We get nothing, but we get the about page on our about. 
we would get the same page on slash one, we would get the same page on slash two. So, so on and so forth. So basically the thing is that unless you include exact here and set it to true, right? So you can, you can either do this, right? Hit save. And now you're going to see it's, it does not work on slash one slash two. So exact means that yes, this route should exactly match this particular route, right? And obviously the trailing slash would work. So unless you do that, it will match all the child routes and switch would restrict our routing to the first match. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's just see our old example. Here we have the home and slash about, right? So we have, we are on slash about, but we are still getting home. Why is that the reason? Because we have a slash and slash about matches this single slash if I'm not using exact because of the reasons we discussed. So if I make this true, this would work. However, if I get rid of the switch component altogether and just use router and hit save, what would happen is that it would look for home, but it would not stop after the first match. That is, it looked for this route, but it will keep searching if there's any other match as well. And it, yes, it finds a match for slash about. So that is why it renders the about component as well. So this is the reason we make use of switch component so that it stops after the first match. Almost in every case, you would need to render only one component per route, right? So you would almost always need switch. So you can just make use of it without thinking too much. And in a lot of cases, I guess in 95% of the cases, you want to want, want to have this component render exactly on the route you are mentioning. So you need exact as well. So I don't know, maybe these guys can make it default, but anyway, it works. You just have to take care of that. So yeah, for now we have home right here and about right here. So this is how basically the routing works in um, React. And in the next videos, we will see more on routing, how it works actually on the browser level and how you can navigate from page to page. So, so on and so forth, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.